At five, police investigating two separate cases in Metro Atlanta where shots were fired in the direction of kids headed to school today. The big relief here is that none of the children were hurt and police have tracked down both suspects. In Swanee, the children were riding a bus when police say a woman opened fire on it near Highland Gate Drive. At almost exactly the same time in Northwest Atlanta, police say an officer shot a man after he allegedly fired a gun in the direction of kids waiting on a bus near Skipper Place. Savannah Levens leads off our team coverage for you tonight from Gwinnett and Savannah. We're hoping to learn that suspect's identity at any moment now. Yes, we are. Police are still interviewing that suspect. But again, the good news, like you said, is that no kids were hurt. Several children were on board. You can actually see the tire marks on this yard where the bus had to go up off of the road to avoid the suspect and get away right now. Again, that suspect being interviewed by police. After students at Riverside Elementary School were ushered inside to class, the shot up school bus was towed away. Bullet holes clearly visible in the front windshield. And it looked to me like that hole in the windshield was right in front of the driver. Gwinnett police say the bus driver was slightly hurt from the shattered glass, but luckily was not shot. Uh, he kept going to go to the school. The school was only two blocks away. Police say that quick action likely saved the children from getting hurt. We're just very happy that none of the children were injured in this incident, and uh, the bus driver was able to get them out of the situation. Neighbors and witnesses calling the driver a hero. Just to have the presence of mind of one, trying to digest what's going on at the time, and two, to you know, think of the kids and have the whereabouts to say, you know, the safest place around here is the school. That was fantastic. Police took a woman into custody who they believe fired the shots. Is the indication that this is probably random? This is an isolated incident. I can tell you this isn't a common occurrence here in Gwinnett County, uh, but as, as to the exact motive, we're still waiting for detectives to show up, conduct interviews, and make that determination. Neighbors say they believe the woman in custody lives on the street where the shooting happened, but they have no idea why anyone would do this. Well, that's the thing got me was shooting at a school bus. My Lord. A little kid could have really gotten hurt. That would have been horrible. If and when police formally charge that woman, we'll be able to tell you more about her, like her name, whether she has a criminal history. Of course, we'll keep you updated on air and online. Guys. All right, Savannah, thank you.